Good afternoon. My name is Kent Crimes with Philips Connect Technologies, and today we're going to teach you how to install the EasyTrack Plus. So first, we've got to examine the contents of what comes in the box. You'll notice that you have the ABS jumper, where we're going to tap into the existing harness infrastructure to draw power for the device. Next, we have the EasyTrack gateway. The device has its own harness that mates up to the gateway that mates up to the ABS jumper. Four tie straps. Moving the tools, we've got a cordless drill with a 3 16 inch bit. We've got an impact with a nine millimeter deep socket, a T25 torque bit, and a set of wire cutters. The first step for the installation is to scan the device and associate it with the asset. So we're gonna open the Philips Connect Technologies app. We're gonna hit the installation key, open the scanner, scan the asset. Once it's scanned, it'll register the device ID number. We'll identify the asset ID number and we'll uh, create that association. Once it's associated, we need to take a look at the asset that we're dealing with. It could be any, any type of trailing asset. Today, we're looking at a brand new CIMC chassis. All assets built after March of 1999 uh, have ABS. So after the ABS mandate, all harness manufacturers change to the same standard five pin TTMA connector where the ABS drop comes from the main harness and hooks back to the ABS module. To begin the installation, we've got to find out where the ABS ECU is. On this chassis, it's right here. We're going to identify where the power harness comes out of the ECU. We're going to trace it back to the main harness, and then we're going to find the connector, uh, the five pin TTMA connector, where, uh, where everything's made it up. Once you find the connector, Unplug it by lifting up that latch, <clears throat> and as you can see, we've got the, uh, the standard connection point there that's completely sealed. Once that's identified and disconnected, take our ABS jumper and we're going to mate the according sides, and just like that, you've established a power connection point for the solution. Once, once both latches are secured, you've got a nice weather-tight, weatherproof connection, and you can finish the rest of the installation. We're going to take the device harness, and we're going to mate it up to each according connector. Now we're able to choose where we mount the device and confirm that we have enough uh, harness working length. So after looking back here in the bogey area, we can tell that this cross member is gonna be the best place to mount the device. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the device connector, we're gonna route it through the hole and confirm that on the back end of this cross member, we have plenty of working length for the harness now that we've chosen the ideal cross member to mount the device, let's go ahead and get everything lined up. The next step is to get underneath, mark up the holes, and get them drilled out. Now that we're underneath, we're going to identify the holes uh, that we're going to utilize on the device. We're going to use these two oval holes in the middle. Once those are identified, let's line the device up against the cross member. Take a Sharpie, mark each hole. Let's go ahead and drill them out. We're going to slide both of the stainless steel bolts in. And we're going to secure the device to the crossbar. To tighten it down, we're going to take our T15 torque bit. to hold the screws in place.
and we're gonna take our T15 torque bit, secure the back. And zip it up. We're gonna reach down here, grab the device harness. Notice that it's a 12 pin connector, okay? To connect it to the, to the device, all you have to do is push it in. Don't force it, it's keyed correctly. Once all the holes and the pins match up, you can push it on. But finally, you're gonna give the twist lock a quarter turn just to lock it and you'll hear it click. Let's make sure that all of our connection points are verified before we complete the installation. Each TTMA connector is completely secure. Most importantly, let's check the power harness. Blue is connected to blue, which is the main auxiliary power circuit. Brown is connected to brown, which is our backup power circuit. And white is connected to white, which is our ground. After confirming that, we can take both harnesses, secure them with tie straps, so that they become an embedded part of the harness. After we clip our last tie strap and tidy up the setup, We've confirmed that the physical installation of the EasyTrack Plus has, has been completed. The last step that we need to do is supply the asset power or connect it to a truck. Once you do, you can log in, look up the asset, and confirm that that dot shows up on the map. After that, the installation is complete, and you now have an EasyTrack Plus system installed on your asset.